Hi Virgo, it's Elle here to do your September love messages or love reading. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much what I'm here for. Uh, happy birthday guys. I hope that everyone is having a really good start to um, their birthday month and just you know getting all that they they wish for and they hope for. Alright. So let's get started. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for the messages for Virgo. See, Virgo's been it's been pretty calm. There's like the, the calm before the storm. There's a storm brewing in some of you. Some of you know that you have to do something or you have to say something that's going to cause a shift in energy, a shift in um, a relationship, you know? So um, that's where a lot of you are. Um, just really preparing for the change uh, that you want to make in your life. Some of you, like, there's, like, still trying to figure it out, you know? Still trying to figure it out in regards to love and health, wealth, and happiness. Um, if what you've been doing so far isn't getting you to the place you want to be, then you need to um, kind of, like, be the Virgo, be, the, be introspective, and think about what you can do to have that change, to have your circumstances change by way of you firstly changing, you know, whatever it may be. It can be something as simple as, you know, the outward appearance, you know, of, of yourself. I mean, and it can, of course, go as deep as rehashing things that have happened in the past. We've got the Ten of Cups governing the the spread, the five card advice spread, love, love messages. Let's go. Wow, two of cups. Nice. That fell out off camera for you. Queen of cups, six of cups, ten of wands, eight of pentacles. Some of you are working very hard toward um, a move, a home move. Um, it's been burdensome. You're working very hard toward um, goals here. It it it'll look like it looks like it could be something in in regards to work, your career, finances, a, a physical move here. You're ready for it, definitely ready for it. Some of you in relationship, like I said, you're moving away from, you know, the turbulence that used to be the Ten of Wands. You're laying down that burden of maybe a false sense of happiness, a false sense of a happy home. You've kept up the front for as long as possible. Now you're laying this down and you're pretty much gonna work on getting what you want for yourself. Some of you are actually physically throwing yourself into work or there's a lot of work. Be workaholic type, taking on too many tasks too too much at one time, but in love, you're moving away from a situation that no longer fulfills you. You could be having self-fulfillment here, or you found the two of cups type of relationship, and you're open, you're willing to love, to give love, and uh, to receive. Some of you could be moving away from an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, We've got Cancer here, Scorpio, Pisces, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, of course. Um, pretty much got everybody here. Um, yeah, a lot of you are pretty much moving away from, like I said, it's like the calm before the storm. And it's almost as if you're preparing yourself for it, or you're preparing the people around you for it. You could be a mother. You could be preparing yourself, your, your children, for a, a home move, for things to change. Wow. A seven of Cups, Strength, and Reverse. These cards are not supposed to be reversed. So pretty significant. Seven of Water, 
strength and rebirth. Some of you are having some real hot and heavy fantasy or fantasizing about what can be or what your options could be or someone else. And in the upright, you are taming yourself in regards to reaching out to this person. It could be a Leo person. You have Leo in your chart. I mean, it could be anything. Um, but now it looks like you, you, you might lay down the ego. And, and let's see what you'll do. Some of you could have an unfaithful spouse, or you could be the unfaithful spouse, and you make promises just to break them, or vice versa, someone else does. They're not taming themselves in regards to the connection, the relationship, the marriage that they're already in. They're pretty much doing whatever it is they want to do. Um, that could very well be another interpretation of that three of air yes yeah. some of you are choosing to um divorce separate you're no longer you're no longer doing this you're no longer with the falsehood of insinuation you're no longer keeping up this this front it's coming down because Either some of you fantasize, dream about, know, you have an inner knowing that something or someone else is for you. And you're, you're going to separate maybe from an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Someone with air in their chart doesn't have to be. It could be any sign. Eight of Earth again. Definitely working hard in regards to getting what what it is you want working on this wanting to put the work in on yourself okay the king of fire some of you could be independent contractors um, business owners some of you are um, lots of work maybe even creative work spiritual work um, putting a work in on yourself and going after what you want because the affirmation of the king of fire is I want or any fire sign um, I want you know so you're going after what you want let's see what it is you want Could be dealing with another fire. Of, I mean, I said another fire. Could be dealing with a fire sign, Virgo. Nine of Earth. You want to be free. You want to be single. You want to be financially independent. There's some business opportunity here for you, and you want to embark on it. Um, you want to get to a place of um, being abundant, luxurious, able to buy and go and have whatever you want. Yeah, you want to be a business owner with the emperor here and have success in it. And you're really trying to manifest that. Wow. Then the ten of fire again. Some of you are laying down the burden that is. Now, I know this is love, but some of you are laying down a relationship. You're putting the work into yourself. Some of you want to have marriage, a husband, to maybe... In, uh, an Aquarius, Gemini, Taurus, Libra, Aries. You are that single woman in waiting. What you want, or single man in waiting, what you want is a husband figure or a wife. You want to have success in that. You want victory over, you know, singlehood trying to manifest that. Nice. And for some of you, it's business. Let's get some angel answers. So if you have questions out there, whatever those questions may be, here are your angel answers. Wow, okay. 
choose a new direction, trust, look for a sign at the bottom of the deck in the near futures. Choose a new direction. It looks like you're doing it. Really getting away from what no longer fulfills you. You're looking for happiness, real true happiness. You're tired of falsehood. Um, trust that, you know, this could happen for you in the near future. Look for a sign. All right, Butterfly Oracle cards. Really good reading, Virgo. It's like, you know, it's kind of clean and it's some of the same cards repeated in the different deck. So. Those two just fell out. We'll get two more. Bottom of the deck, decisions. Definitely. Some of you getting real clear within your mind what you want. Deciding to take action, join in, volunteer, grief work, courage. You got strength in reverse. Some of you don't have enough courage to maybe have this divorce and or separation or some of you are no longer some of you do have the courage and you're in the strength and the courage to move forward because you're tired of falsehood of fallacy yeah fallacy just just people lying outright either lying by omission You know, you have an inner knowing. Look for a sign that something else is better out there for you and or you have options. Someone told you you didn't or, or someone comes off with that that boisterous manner that they're the best you're, you're going to find. But if you look back into the past of when you first met them and where they are now, um, you helped them get there. So in turn, for them to think as if that they are the best you will ever have, they have to understand that you helped them get there. So it might be vice versa. <laughs> Virgo, you're the best they'll ever have wow i don't know that's for somebody somebody out there somebody's trying to play a jedi mind trick on you like they're the best you'll ever have but virgo you really did a lot of work for them with them on them hmm. wow okay join in if you want new business if you want a new business opportunity join in join in talks about actually joining physical groups of people not online not virtual getting out in the world meeting with people getting around people who share your same interests so that you can have the, the connection of um firstly physicality and the connection of um of humanity you know human connection we're talking we're we're mixing it up and um, the exchange of idea volunteer this for me, and I'm getting this really strongly, talks about, of course, yeah, get out there, do your alms, do your the benevolent work, the charity. We all need to do that. Um, and, and this very well may be on your mind. And for some of you to advance career-wise, you're going to have to volunteer in those sectors of, uh, or those fields where you want to gain more um more experience you're gonna have to you know do it for free volunteer but for some of you it goes back to the intuitive mes message at the beginning of the video where some of you know it's a calm it's the calm before the storm you're gonna have to volunteer some information uh volunteer how you feel about a certain situation volunteer um nobody act meaning no one acts you know your partner didn't ask you well how do you feel but you're going to volunteer that information, and it's going to really rock the boat. And you may volunteer the information that you, you want to change, you are actively working on change, and, 
and and then it causes grief work you know you have to with any ending you know there there are um, feelings involved especially if we're talking about love and romance or romantic relationships or what used to be a romantic relationship there's still you know you don't want this person to get hit by a bus or anything so you'll have to do the grief work in regards to letting go of an old situation so that you can get newness there is help there is support have the courage to actually go through with this because on the other side of this it looks really really positive really good it it's almost as if well it is as if you get what you want firstly to be abundant to be free to be single to be the woman or the man in waiting for that emperor or that empress to have either a very successful relationship and or business something that you have prayed about and manifested for yourself you put out to the universe what exactly you want. Nice. Virgo, this is a really good reading. I hope that it resonated with all of you. I hope that the messages really, you know, permeate your soul to where you take action. Um, it's a sad thing as if when we collectively listen to readings year in, year out, month in, month out, and we do nothing to change our situation. Uh, so I'm hoping that a lot of you out there are um, starting the change that needs to happen in your life um, and receiving all blessings that are due to you. If you need to contact me for a personal reading, all of my information is below. Send an email. Go over to the website. The website is being revamped just, just, just so it could be better. Um, uh, thank you, Virgo. Know that I am praying for you. Pray for me as well. Take care, guys.